What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about contracts. All employees need a running contract in order to be paid. Contracts outline how an employee's salary is calculated, how often they're paid, how much each paycheck is expected to be, and as well as the monthly and yearly total. Basically, contracts are all important, but enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and jump into our database. Okay, here I am on the dashboard of our payroll application. To view all of our contracts, we're just going to click contracts in the top menu, followed by contracts once again. And here we have all of our contracts grouped by status. The displayed wage on payroll and yearly cost are the averages for all the contracts in these stages. Let's go ahead and expand our running stage here. And we can see all the details for each contract. And this is also organized by start date with the newest contracts being on top. Now I have some great news for my logistics and installation team. Clients they've worked with had such a good experience with their delivery, assembly, and installation on some new office projects. So we've secured several six-figure contracts from the same customers. After evaluating their performance, the management team has decided to give everybody in that department a 5% raise. So we can easily do this right here from the contracts dashboard. So first, I'm just gonna click into this down arrow in our search box and group this by department. Now we're going to expand our running stage and we're just going to find our logistics and installations team and it looks like they're right here. So I'll open up that menu and next I'll select all of these by clicking the square check next to employee which selects all of the groups here. Next I'll click into index contracts And since I have all my employees selected, they're gonna appear here in the contracts field. So in this percentage field, I'm gonna change this from zero to five. And the description loads automatically with the basic details of this percentage increase, but let's go ahead and add some more information and we're gonna put for amazing performance. That looks good, so I'm going to click Confirm. Okay, nothing looks like it changed, so let's click on to Tony Jones right here. And to see if that 5% increase was applied to his contract, we can scroll down to the chatter. And there it is. The chatter shows that today the wage was increased by 5%. And I can also see the details of the increase directly above. What an awesome and convenient feature. All right, next up, I need to create a new contract for one of our carpenters, Shannon Pines. She's discovered a passion for repairs, so she's transferring departments and changing her job position. So she needs a new contract. So I'll start by clicking new in the top left corner here. And the contract start date is automatically set to today. And the working schedule is automatically populated with the standard 40 hours a week. So the work entry source defaults to working schedule and the salary structure type defaults to United States employee because that's where the payroll localization we configured is set up. So in the contract reference field, I'm going to enter Shannon Pines repair contract. And next I'm gonna add Shannon to the employee field directly below. So once she's selected, the department and job position auto-populate based off of her current position. So first thing I'm going to do is change the contract start date to May 1st, since that's when her new position starts. And we don't enter a contract end date unless they're a short-term employee like a summer intern, for example. And then in those cases, we would have to set an end date. None of our permanent staff have a contract end date, so we'll leave this field blank. Next here in the department field, we're going to change this to quality and repairs. And directly under that, I'm going to update her job position to repair technician. The contract type is set as permanent. And next I'll enter her wage on payroll, which is per month. She earns $60,000 a year, which is $5,000 a month. 
Next, I'll configure the salary information tab. First, the wage type. We're going to keep the wage type field at fixed wage because she's not an hourly employee. And the schedule pay here is incorrect. We're going to update this to biweekly since we get paid every two weeks here. Next, for the yearly cost here on the right, we're going to update this to $60,000. And once the yearly cost is entered, the monthly cost and biweekly wage fields are auto-populated as well. Odoo does all the math for you. Next, I have to enter any pre- or post-tax benefits right here. However, Shannon declined these benefits, so we're going to move right along. Moving back up here in the Details tab, I can see that we are using the default Stealthy Wood employee contract. If this was an intern, for example, we could use the intern contract template instead. Okay, last we have our signatories tab right here, and this shows me everybody who needs to sign this contract. In this case, it's the employee, which is Shannon, and then the HR responsible, which is me. All right, this looks great, so I'll manually save this. And then we'll click on this generate offer button to send this all off to Shannon. Here I can see a summary of all the contract details as well as the link where this contract can be viewed. I also see how long this offer is valid for, which is currently 30 days. That's a little too much for me, so I'm gonna change this to seven days right here. Then I'll click send by email and then send once again, and off it goes. And we can see that the offer was sent here in the chatter. Okay, now that it's sent, let's go click on the contract's breadcrumb. And if we scroll back up, open the new section here, and click on quality and repairs, look at that. Shannon's new contract appears here in the new section. Okay. Let's head over to the main payroll dashboard. So this warnings bell here in the top left of our page shows me any issues that could potentially cause an issue when processing payroll. So I'm going to click on this employees with both new and running contracts. And when we take a closer look, we can see here that it's Shannon's Pines. So let's expand this and ah, we can see what the issue is here. She's currently working for us and has an active contract as a carpenter, but we just made her a new offer for the repair technician position right above. I know this is not a problem since the contract isn't set to start for a couple weeks, and I know it'll be signed in time, so I don't really need to worry about this for right now. But it is nice that Odoo put this on my radar just in case it was a problem. So we're gonna navigate back to the payroll dashboard through this payroll dashboard breadcrumb. And let's look at some other warnings. This time, I'm going to click on the two new contracts warning. Shannon, as we know, is okay, like I just said. But let's take a look at Shane right here. Ah, here's the issue. This contract is in the new stage. But all contracts need to be in the running stage in order to process payroll for them. So this is a problem. Let's make sure this should be changed. I'll check both contracts here through this contract smart button here at the top. And this expired contract right here tells me that Shane was previously an apprentice for us, looks like last June. This contract was an apprenticeship and he only worked 20 hours a week, but his new contract is a permanent position. The contract should be in the running stage. However, employees can't have more than one contract at a time unless they're in either a draft or canceled stage. So first, I need to cancel this expired apprenticeship contract by clicking into this contract here, and we're going to change the status to canceled. Now we're going to go back to the other contract. We'll click the new one. And here we just need to update this to running. Now let's go back to our dashboard. And look at that, new contracts only have one warning now, which is for Shannon, like we said, is fine for today. And that's all. We've covered how to view employee contracts, grant raises, create new contracts, and manage payroll warnings related to contracts. See you in the next one.
Till then, don't forget to cash out those paychecks.